Hey everybody, Danny Ward here. Thanks for joining us. If you've ever struggled with your short game around the green, you're gonna absolutely love this live golf lesson with my dad. Look, don't laugh, but he hit some absolute shockers at the start of the lesson, shanking it, thinning it along the green, chunking it. But by the end of the lesson, we kind of transformed his technique and it really needed to be transformed. So hope you enjoy the lesson. Look over my shoulder right now and enjoy this short game lesson with my dad. What's happening to your shots when you're, when, uh, when you're chipping around the greens? Well, quite a lot, uh, quite a lot seem to go right, you right go to, to target. Go right to target? Yes. And what's the strike like? Uh, it feels uh, a little bit slappy. It doesn't feel as though I've got a nice crisp contact. Okay. There you see, now that, I didn't seem to square up there at all, did I? How do you mean by, when you say square up, what's happening? Well, I felt that was near, near the hosel. Right, okay, so that was, that was, because you've had a few shanks as well, you said? Yes, I have, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's another one, isn't it? There, you see that? Yeah, yeah, okay. So you're quite, you're quite handsy. Really? Right, see that Not one there? there? see. So they're all wanting to drift out. out drift out that way, out yes. Out to the right. Yes. Okay, pause there for a second, let me show you something. So, what we're seeing, this is quite normal, Right. Is your body and your shoulder and your uh, your arms, they aren't really synced up. So what you're doing quite a lot of is, is you're, you're taking it back quite a bit with your hands and your arms, okay? Mm. And the club's getting very much around. And then what you're doing is you're trying to, uh, you, the way you're getting it back around in front of you is by using a lot of hands. Oh, I see. So if you think of this, your club face is now closing down. So when it closes down, you're getting that top spin almost. The problem is, look at this. If you don't close it down quick enough, there's your shot to the right. right okay. okay. The other thing is, is when you also when you're closing it down, you're bringing in the leading sharp edge too much yes. into the ground. Yes. So you're going to fat it. Right. So you're not really. That's what. Uh, that's I have, that's what I've been doing. I've been hitting the hosel. That's when I've shanked it. Yeah. It feels as though I've hit this corner of the club yeah and, the, the, the and not, best, the blade, not the blade because the club itself is waving around a bit too much mm. it's you're almost having like an open and uh, closed door effect right. right so what i want you to do keep we're going to keep it uh, really simple we need to kind of stabilize this club right but we need the body and the arms working more in harmony when you uh, when you're chipping okay so all we're going to do to start with it's super simple I want you to just get, put the clip, maybe actually with that ball first, I want you to imagine how would your body move? If you're going to throw a ball onto the green, just notice what your body does. Hmm. All right, so come down here for a second. Yep. Okay. And all we're going to do is just, if you were going to throw a ball onto a green, just pay attention to what your body's doing and imagine you're going to throw that ball onto the green, just under ram. Good. Now pause there. Well, look, notice where your hips are, notice where your chest is. Going towards the Everything's target. Everything's going towards the target, right? right? So, yeah. Good. Now, do you keep that body dead still? No. no. You don't do it, no. right? Do you swing the arm all over the place? No. Is it no. wooden? No. Is it wristy? No. Yeah. So get yourself set. And I want you to now just let your arms hang down your side. Just feel like your right arm is just nice and connected to your side. Just relax there. Right. Now, as you're throwing this ball now, just see if you can get a sensation of how this arm and body are working. That's it. Together through to the target. Perfect, and just throw the ball. Okay, now if that ball's gone off to the right, what would you do? Where would you swing the arm? Backwards and forwards if it's gone up to the... Well, more that way. Yeah, you would. And where would it swing back slightly as well? If you were going to swing, if you want to hit, hit it online, where would you swing it back to? Well, uh, this way here yeah, and that way. Well, if you swing it, if it goes to the right, where are you swinging your hand? Oh, so it needs to come this way. Yeah, so when you swing it, so when, when, when so it wants, when that, right, you don't have, to, don't have to think about it. If at the no. end of the day, if you're here, look, and you want to throw the ball, right, if, yep. you throw it, if you bring it around here, you're gonna, it's of gonna course. make it very difficult for you to get it around Just in time. Got, right. So I you've see. got to get the club working out in front of you here like this, so we can actually throw it right. online. I, I see. So now you've got the club in your, um, in your right hand. Okay, what I want you to do now is this. I want you to imagine now, you're going to do the same thing now with this club here, one hand. Just imagine throwing it in the direction of that target, okay? Now hit me a shot now, okay? Literally, one-handed, throwing it in the direction of that target. Don't worry about strike or anything like that. So if that ball goes off to the right, 
what would you need to do? Just keep, just keep imagining what you're adjusting. Don't artificially do it. Just look at this. Just keep swinging in a way that's going to get your ball on target. Make sense? Oh, now listen that to that strike. a lot better strike. Yeah. And you seem to have a little bit of stop with that it as does, well. It does, yeah. You've got, you got a bit of backspin on that one yeah. as well. And again. Better, isn't it? Yes. See the difference in strike? It is. And, and a different strike. If it's more solid. Yep. A couple of reasons why that's happening. Okay. Just on there for a second. A couple of reasons why you're starting to strike it now is for the first time, as opposed to you getting this type of motion where you're manipulating it with your hands, mm -hmm. the you're not, we're not there yet, but you're starting to let the club swing up and down. And watch this. It's falling down on the ground now. I see. See, it's falling on the ball, it's staying much squarer, versus... Right, I've got you. See the difference? So when you start to throw it like this and you let the club naturally fall to the ground as you're swinging through, you're letting two things happen. The body and the arms are sinking up, plus you're letting the club just... Turns on a far better line, isn't it? Yeah, and it's falling down onto down the ground, the ball. just as you would do if you threw. Okay. okay. So keep playing around with that. Now, the direction, You've got to start to just, like, like throwing a ball, if we threw a ball and we threw it out to the right a little bit, we just naturally, subtly make adjustments, don't we? Yes. We'll make yes, it complicated. Yes, that's so, correct. So keep going, we're going to stick with one arm for a second before we bring in so the left. So there's one arm? Yeah, definitely, yeah, just for now. Now when you do this, okay, with one arm, do, um, because we, when we bring it to, yeah, no, pause there, pause there, pause there. Don't let the arm g completely get out of sync with the oh, body. I see. So when you here, look, we didn't do this when we threw a ball. Keep it in sync with the body. Yeah, so do that again for me. Okay, keep it in sync, let the body swing through nice and let it flow, that's it. Okay. Good. I felt better, Daniel. Okay, keep going. I want this ball to set off left of target. Okay, left of target, not right. There's a different strike altogether. Now watch this stop now, next to the hole. It stopped a lot. See the difference in height there? Yes. Okay, so when you're swinging and you're sinking the body, mm. when you take the club too much here, where's the club wanting to go now? Out to the right. right. To the right. So what are you going to have to do with your hands? I see, yeah. When you take the club naturally more online, with, synced up with your body, so you've got a little mm. turn on the way back, mm -hmm. now the club comes through, look, it can stay squarer. Stay square. And therefore you're keeping the loft on. So then the ball will run up the club and that's yeah. where you get the, your backspin. Exactly, exactly. So that's what you've got to start to play around with. It might feel like you're coming out here. Yeah, it does feel around quite strange actually yeah. now when I'm really, I feel as though I'm coming too far out that way actually. Yeah. But let the ball... What the results? It's, it, it's going left and not right. And it's also going, you've got height on it. Yes, and, so and the height. You're not, having to, stop. you're not having to close that face down no. through impact, okay? So that's keep great. going. Oh, top, that was that was, <laughs> that was terrible. Don't worry, it's all right. You get a few of them. You see, I've got to, I've got to sort of. Just, just don't watch this. Don't complicate it. If, if it, once you start overthinking it, it won't work. So that's it. Look at this. Just relax. Hmm. You're throwing the ball. Yeah. Just throwing the ball. That's it. And if you know that you you're throwing the ball bits out to the right, what would you do? Just pivot more to the left. That's it. Yeah. So don't, it's so easy to get wrapped up in all the mechanics. Don't, don't get wrapped up in the mechanics. Just, you've, you've got this inner action here that you can always return to. There you go. Look at that. That's great. So why do we do it one-handed? First, very simple. When you go do one-handed swings, you're forced to let the club fall. fall. When you add the second hand in, we're going to talk about grip pressure in a second. People mm. grab hold of the club drive the handle, and then they don't let the club do the work, right. Yeah. right? So we do this first of all, so you get a rough idea, then we'll gradually put the lead hand in, okay, mm. to continue it, right? Okay. Look at the difference in height on there. Yes, that's See, much. Yeah, that's yeah. just landing and almost stopping now. Yeah, I felt that when the, when the club actually went, went through the ball, it was more or less keeping square through yep. there, rather right, than going, exactly. turning it over. Exactly. Look at that now. You, and you beat, you stop beat me. You beat me, you bugger. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do. Let's make it a little bit trickier, right? So um, we're going to go to your left hand now. 
Okay. okay. So you want to educate your left hand um, uh, what to do. So again, same principle. We want to let this club swing through. So just with your left hand, okay. Let the club feel like where would the club need to swing. So look at the club head. Just imagine swinging that club head, sinking it up with your body, just with your left hand. Okay. Right. Where's it gone? That's straight to the right. Yeah. Straight to the right. So exactly. So the why I love the left hand exercise is this. The left hand is going to be one of your crucial hands because what you're doing here is, is you're kind of, in a sense, getting this stuck in here and then just driving it. Ah, right. You've got nice. to work out now with this left hand what you need to do with this club head look to get that ball online. Yes. Look, what's there? If you, uh, do that again. If your club head's going around here, look, where it is at the moment, you've got no chance on getting that club where you need to go. Look at this, where's my head? Yes, 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 yeah, most, yeah. Now I can easily yeah. come through, but if I get my head around here... You've nowhere to go, have you? I've got time. No, I've got time to I've got time to square it, it up, and if I do, I'm going to block it out to the right, or I have to flick it. Mm. So again, same principle, just get a feel of... And what you're doing here is you're getting a feel of how the natural... The arm and the wrists are working, again, with the body. To hit that ball left. Okay. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll do a reversal, or two we'll do it a slightly different way, okay? What we're going to do, because sometimes it can be a bit tricky initially, do what I call um, the reverse overlap. So you're going to actually going to put your left hand below your right. And this is a good exercise because what you're doing here is this. If you drive your handle now, you're going to shank it. Yeah. So what it's going to do, it's going to teach you how to literally make sure you're going to release the club through impact here, look. Mm -hmm. Look at the cell, I'll play a shot for you, it's a small one. Oh, I see. Makes sense? Yes. Because if I drive my handle here with my left arm, I'm going to be, leave it open. So it's going to train you, look, to get the S, get the release of the club. Now, now what, pause there. So it's not too wooden. Get the, match it up with the body, look. That's it. So yeah, you go. So you've got some flow. Wonderful. Do some swing spur. That's it. Get a feel. And notice how you're going to have to square that club. That's it. There you go. Where's it going to go? That was a shank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, that this is what makes it tricky, right? So it's a great exercise, this, because it's brutal. Mm. It's going to give you a sensation here of how to square. Now, what, what happened? So where did, it, where, where did that club face cause the shank? Get yourself was it, set. Was it the toe end or was it the heel? Get yourself set. That's how you're hitting it right now. There? Yeah. So it's the heel that's hitting the ball? Yeah. So you need to make sure you're releasing that club. And by the way, when you're doing it, you're literally releasing the club with a... That's it, with your body. There you go. That's it. There you go. It's completely different, isn't it? Complete difference, yeah. Yeah. So you've educated the right hand and the right side. Now what you're doing is you're educating... By turning this way, you're educating what the left side needs to do in the golf shot. Right, I see. Then what we'll do in a second, not yet, just keep playing around with this, then we'll mm. move back to normal, and then you start to kind of get the whole thing working together. There you go. Makes sense. It does. Great. So let's grab these. The key thing for us is that we've got you now starting to get some form of synchronization here. Yes. You've got an awareness that you were doing this, mm. and now you get a feel of how the lead side needs to work too. Now what we do, now you've got some more ideas, make some swings, going swinging backwards and forwards, with both hands swinging towards the target. There you go. Okay, let's go. So don't worry about where the ball goes initially, just imagine you're gonna hit the ball slightly left to target. Get a sense of this motion. Okay, so it's online this time yet. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Beautiful height. Make sense? Yes, it's a much better strike, that. Much better strike. When you, sometimes what you're doing, you're doing it a bit wooden. Yes. So you're trying, to, get, though, you're yeah. trying to stick it out there, no. Mm. So you don't throw a ball wooden. No. Yeah? So even though I want you to, in a sense, get this line, yeah. right, don't make it this. No, look, look. look. If you, Too right. stiff. Yeah, look, look, look. Mm. no stiff at all, look. No, no. Here, look, I'm throwing a ball. Yeah. So oh, I've been throwing it out to the right a little bit too much. No problem. Okay, I'm going to swing it over here. Yeah. But I'm not going to put it over there. Mm. I'm just going to 
Swing it. Yeah. Over there and then through. That's it. There and through. So d d even if it's not perfect, Dad, there you go. Now there's a flow to this. You follow? That's it. Now go. That's love that. Love that. There you go. That's a proper shot. That's going to spin. Make sense? Yeah. So that's that, a much better swing. Man. Well, it, it, because of the biggest difference there is, is you're just that's more natural. It's a much there. Look at this straight away. Wonderful. Look at that. Make sense? Yes. So that's the huge difference between just putting a club. Yes, we want it to be online, but we don't put it there. We allow it to flow now. There you go. Now the club's releasing beautifully. Oh, three in a row. Yeah. That's, that's much better strike, Daniel. Clipping off. Better. You're barely bruising Just, the ground, using the, right. the bounce. It's like shelling peas now, look. Okay. That's, that's great. I think we'll finish on that one. Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really good. Simple. That's great. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's cool. great.